In today's Urbandon video, we take a look inside an abandoned social club located above shops in a Scottish town that has been left to deteriorate for over five years. The ornate property features various halls and suites with intricate architecture boasting dated designs and unique stained glass. It has remained in relatively good condition since closure, but is steadily falling into disrepair. Join us as we venture within the small building to see what is left. Remember to click subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss a video. Remember, you can visit our brand new website that we think ties the channel's videography and photography together. The website is a hub to keep up with everything we are working on. Our support links, social links and latest social media posts is accessible, as well as our detailed location reports for nearly every site we have visited. The reports contain a wider range of photos than are shown in our videos and allow you to read up on the historical information and our experiences regarding each place. The biggest addition in our eyes on the website is our store. We understand the controversy surrounding selling any item that relates to urbex, but we think we have corrected the right balance moving forward. We will be selling location print bundles for the spots we have visited for a limited time only after our video has released. This way if you particularly enjoyed a video of ours, or are a fan of the property itself or have a personal connection to it, there will be a physical way to remember it. In addition to the website, we have launched our brand new Discord server. As a group of friends and exploring enthusiasts, we often spend time planning and chatting about what we are doing next, and thought why not open it to everyone that supports our videos. We have dedicated chat rooms and voice rooms for all sorts of things, and an interactive based levelling system that will unlock more permissions as you chat more. Feel free to check out our website and join our Discord server using the link in the description. If you have any questions about either, you are welcome to comment under this video or message us on our social media which can be found in the description and we will respond as soon as we can. If you weren't aware that the historic social club lied neglected, it would be tough to work it out as a passerby on the street. The building isn't in the worst condition and just seems like a typical slightly dilapidated town centre structure. It dates back to the late 1800s when local businessmen decided to find premises for meetings and events. After a motion from the council was passed, the property was permitted construction for just over £10,000. With such a prominent position in a very public area, we didn't anticipate entry at all to the structure, expecting it sealed, so it was almost laughable how it occurred. Using high-vis jackets to act natural, we slipped inside the open door, unable to believe our luck. Holy shit. This is a really nice room. Pretty simple. Three snooker tables, I think there would have been four by the way, there's a light fitting on the right side. And some of the bowls still remain, but these snooker tables are massive. Like professional ones. Nice. It was a brilliant space to begin the exploration. With leaderboards and competition articles dotting the walls, it seemed that a club for the sport was based in the building, which is why the setting was so proud. The rules of snooker. Jesus Christ. This place is amazing. Clock on the wall. And that stained glass window up there. What?
Inside the main corridor of the detailed structure, we could take in the impressive architecture that is in good condition for over five years of abandonment. In fact, there are definitely buildings of the same use in a worse state. Everything from the arched ceilings, ornate coves, carved banisters and colourful stained glass windows brought so much to these sections and emphasised the shame that there is no life in the site anymore. My god, ceiling in this one. Incredible. The chandeliers as well. <laughs> wow. It's so untouched as well. This was one of our favourite rooms, with a vibrant red ceiling and golden chandeliers, despite the tarp that had been set up to decrease water damage. There are four halls in the social club, each with varying architecture and three with their own bars. Until around five years ago, they would have served the club's thousand members, who would have been regular visitors. It doesn't appear that everything was easy going at the property, with the premises having their license suspended not long before shutting. Apparently this was due to poor management in incidents such as underage drinking, public disorder and hospitalizations occurring over the decades of use. quite smart from them. They have this bar that works with this room and then on the other side they would also serve drinks to this suite which is a much more smaller private one and with totally different architecture as well I might add. Not sure what that crest of arms is about. This is where their beer was kept. On the walls they've got stickers for Foster's Cider, Stella and Guinness in light and heavy. Aside from the suites, a lot of the downstairs rooms were bare except for some old features. The structure itself is tiny in comparison to a lot of places we cover, but the super condition and architecture makes up for it. Going underground. There's a huge CCTV camera there looking at the entrance for this. Hopefully it's something cool. That is quite nice. I don't think that's going to open. I believe this is just the entrance. That would make sense. Yeah, it is. I can see the doors to the outside on the other side. Grand entrance. It's what you would expect from this place, from everything else at least. This reflective bathroom was situated beside the snooker hall. It is a perfect example of a room with rare design and ornate parts that has survived through the years of neglect. Next we headed upstairs to the second floor of the building, where we were intrigued to see if it shared the same degree of 1800s craft that had intrigued us so much in its lower regions. That window is awesome. Let's see what lies upstairs. Can already see another grand looking hall. Damn, there's a lot of pigeon. A lot of deceased pigeons in here. Probably not going to film. This one looks more disco y. There's two disco balls, and the arch is quite modern, to be honest. Almost looks as if it was refurbished shortly before closure. Still a nice room, though. The side pieces are cool. It's like a miniature dressing room in here. I thought it was a toilet, but it's not. Probably for the performers before. They walked out onto the stage. I 
One thing that I've noticed about this place is that there is decay, but really it's in great condition and you'd think it could be used again. They just cleared up a bit of the mess and obviously refurbished it slightly. It's so sad that it's in this condition because the architecture is so beautiful. Although this decaying ballroom wasn't as old fashioned as its counterparts downstairs, it would turn out that it would be much older than what we would discover in the rest of the structure. But the last one looked modern. The modern developments are likely to be refurbishments of an old hall that was falling apart. It's a shame we will never get to see how it formerly looked, as either way it has ended up vacant and deteriorating. Strange, this bit. I don't know how much it has to do with the rest of the building. I was thinking maybe at first it's a um, workers break room, but obviously not with these ads. Drum Central, Monday 1st of September in 2008. Christ. It's more about drumming over there. So the public must have been here, otherwise they wouldn't be advertising to staff. I thought the only things in here were just gonna be empty rooms, but there's a nice organ, completely intact. Could be sold in a shop and you would never know. It appeared that the offices upstairs would have housed a rock radio station for the town the social club is situated in. No equipment remained though, so we quickly moved on. I believe this is the final bit that I've not been in. It's a very nice staircase, it contrasts from that modern room. Stone as well. Look at these stained glass windows. Wow. They're so dirty and grubby compared to some of the other ones in this place. Ah. Oh, that makes sense. We've covered everything. After spending the afternoon inside the small structure, once we had covered every inch of it, we headed out through the simple entrance. You would think that a building with rare architecture that we lose each day that is relatively protected would be a renovator's dream, but the site remains without owner. If you enjoyed our coverage, feel free to like the video and subscribe to never miss a future upload. Here are some of our photographs captured at the impressive abandoned social club. If you like the look of them, check out our Instagram page in the description where we post images of our explores months before they are seen on YouTube. Thanks for watching. With the lockdown beginning to finish in the UK, we hope we can get back to Scotland soon to continue ticking off places. See you next time.